Hello everyone, it's Hot Black Mike, back with another video. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the Sparta Let's Play. In the last episode, we took some of the Greek island settlements. In this episode, Epirus have sallied out against us, and it looks like we're going to have to defend Aegon from Rome as well. So without further ado, let's jump into this one. Okay, here we go then. So I do need to be careful because... Their troops are much better than ours. They have the Phalanx Pikemen, which have morale of 4 and decent defense, whereas I only have Militia Hoplites, which have a morale of 2. So I'm going to have to try and use the Missile Cav to good effect here. I'm just going to try and get some early missiles off with the, with the skirmishes here. Yeah, it's not doing too much damage because their shields are facing us, but if we kind of kite them, we should be able to get a fair amount of damage down. Okay, so we are now doing quite a bit of damage to them. They're down to about 80 from 120. Uh, there's another unit over here which you need to be careful of as well. I don't really want to be fighting on the downslope either, so I'm just going to take the, the sharp lights and line them up here so that just in case we do get pulled into a fight, we are fighting sort of on a flat at least. Okay. So down to 59. And our cavalry are nearly out of ammunition here. I think they are out of ammunition. Yep. Okay, so now we need to engage. So I'm going to turn these skirmishers into melee mode. Attack the phalanx pikemen. And this is a very steep hill. I don't know if I really want to fight them on a on a hill like this. I'm just gonna bring the cav round. Uh, that's the general there as well. So, we are going to be engaged here. So I just need to try and flank if I can. And I'll use the units of cow to go in on that general. So that's fine. that Phalanx Pikeman is surrounded. This one's going to come in, but we'll get a charge on it. Okay, so Phalanx Pikeman's down to 99, this one's down to 48. We're starting to route as well. And that general's down to 42. Okay, 
Okay, so hopefully we'll win here soon. They've come back from another thing, so I'm just going to bring them up. Okay, so one finance payment's dead, and we've got some skirmishes over here as well. Okay, so they're both routing, so we'll deal with them just now. If we let them go, they'll they'll come back from routing in the square, so I need to deal with them. And the general's on his way as well, so... Do need to line up if I can here. Just gonna see if I can break the charge with the... General, okay. Right, that's their king, that's their king dead, so it should be, be okay here. This is still spearman against horsemen, so yeah, he's right. Rather that they didn't let him get away. Okay, so now they just have these forces over here. Ah, no, cast back. Come back from writing. Okay, so. We should actually be able to win this now. Uh, I just need to make sure I get a timely charge off. Gonna get these guys in the middle and then the other guys to surround. Need to make sure I don't lose my general here. And they can fire from the back. They are exhausted. Yep. And that's it. That's the end of the battle. So finish off this unit here and that'll be it. Uh, so we did lose a fair few troops in that but um, yeah I think that's probably the best we could do. Their troops are a lot stronger than ours so. Glorious victory. Okay so we've now taken Ambrosia. And I think I'm going to... It's got 8,000 people. I think I will enslave. And we've been attacked at sea by pirates. We do have a superior force in terms of numbers, so... Let's watch resolve, and that's a clear victory. Embrace it then, so as we enslaved, the population is now down to 2000, but I can see it's got the tier 2 archery range and tier 2 cavalry stables and a tier 3 city barracks. So this is the best military recruiting settlement I've got. We can get nearly everything here. We can get the armor top whites, the archers, and the Greek cavalry. Oh, it's even got a. You can even get ballistas here as well. So, Rome still have a number of forces milling about. 
And I'm just wary of taking forces out of Corinth or Sparta to deal with Adrian because they have another army here. I'm just going to retrain everything first. And over here in Rhodes, we, we've just taken Rhodes and we were retraining our troops. So everything should be retrained now, which it is. So now I can take the ship back to Rhodes. And board it with our up -like, so I think I want to take most of the most of the army. Yeah, I'll take the faction there. I'll leave the cab and just take the hot plates. And then I'll just make sure that we're recruiting militia hot plates. Just so that I've got that garrison there. So now I want to bring this back to Sparta. I can even take this round to Athens to try and help with the with the siege. Yes, Captain. And in Caedonia, we are we should still be recruiting the militia bikes just so we've got the, the garrison there. Sparta wants to be recruiting. It's all at the armor top lights now. Corinth, get more hot plates. And in Athens, hot places as well. Can we recruit here? Get some cavalry. And some hot plates. Okay, so that's just a belt out of money. We may get attacked next turn. I can't really move forces out of Sparta. So I just need to deal with that Roman stack if it does attack, but uh, yeah, I'm going to pass turn here. As another faction goes. So Rome are still laying siege. They've sent over a big fleet. 240 men. Which I can't deal with this. I can't deal with that. So I need to build up the fleet. At Sparta. We get some uh, triremes. And I also want to take this force. Off the boat. And... Station in Sparta, which means we can then take out some of these units here to go and attack Rome at Adrian. Okay, so now we've got the forces to defend Sparta, and we also have a reinforcing army at Adrian. So I think I'm going to attack the Romans here. So they have mainly Hestata, it looks like, which aren't that good. 100% he is, okay. Uh, it's probably worth seeing if we can bribe his force Be as well. Quick. Our patience no, is no office or demands available. Okay. Not sure what's going on there. Be quick. Our patience is limited. Sir. Let's arrive this force. Our yeah. patience is limited. You insult us. No such luck. Sir, sir, my lord, my lord. I'm just a bit wary of attacking this Roman force because we do only have my sharp lights, which are not great when you're attacking. They're okay when you're defending. Ships ready. Uh, 
uh, and there's a full Ephra stack, so they must have another settlement elsewhere. Trouble find it quite hard to defend Ambrosia, but so they can reach Thermon or Ambrosia. So I think I need to reinforce Ambrosia and then take some hot bites round to Thermon. Unfortunately there's a rebel army here. Oh they can actually get to Ambrosia that way. So I do want to reinforce Ambrosia and Thermon, but I either need to go this way, north around the mountains up to Ambrosia, or I can go south, but if I'm going south I need to deal with this rebel force, which means I need a big army to be able to auto resolve that. And that is a big stack that they have. So I think what I'm going to do is take most of this force. Yes, sir. And send it to Ambrosia. Then I'll keep recruiting hot plates in Larissa. In Sparta I do want a big wall. Uh, unlike history it is something we need I think. And in Athens, let's get the mines and crop rotation. In Larissa, I do want stone walls as well. Crop rotation. And in Pella, we have good forces in Pella. It's probably worth bringing some of these or using them as an invading army. So I'm going to head up to Baila Zora. Forward, my lord. Forward. Onward. And this is owned by the valley. My lord. Not pop. We can't do that. Yep. Okay. And I do want to keep recruiting in Pella as well. Okay. So I guess as long as we get this force into position here, Onward. we will be able to reinforce, and I'll just pass turn that. Let us now talk reason. The Empress want to cease first, so I'll Our take friends. that. So they have very low strength, so I'm assuming they just have one settlement as they retreat with their forces. And Rome is still not attacking. Just gonna keep building up our garrisons here. My Lord. I do want to go and deal with Ephraim. Who's this? Tyler's. My Lord. Yeah. I think I do need to maintain a decent garrison at Pella as well. Seems to have a bit of a lack of generals. So I've got a general here. So let's bring him round to Ambrosia. Uh, so Epirus must have a settlement around here. Should be good to take before I go over to Rome. And Ajon has 
three times before it falls in a siege. Ready to sail. Ready. So if Ready. I can join up my forces here, Ready. I might be able to defeat this Roman fleet. Roman fleet doesn't have any forces on it right now. So I've still got another, you know, trireme is coming. Ready to sail. So I'm going to recruit another, you know, but it's a thermon just so we can join up our military fleet. And then I'll just make sure that everything is okay in these settlements. Seems to be. The uh, population growth going there. And we can't really afford it much there, so. I will. Let's turn that. Okay, so Tyler's lay siege. We have a very strong force at Pella, so they're planning on taking Pella, then they've got a fight on their hands. Adrian's down to two turns to look. Uh automatically. Loses the siege. So I think I do want to try and deal with this Roman fleet if I can. So I've got a fair few boats here. Set sail. Ready to sail. So we do have about 260 to 241. It's going to be close. I think I have to go for this. Average victory. We are victorious. Okay, so it could have been better, but we'll take a victory. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready to sail. Ready to sail. Yes, Captain. Now if we take ready our big fleet and yes, sir. retrain it, Sparta. And get another unit to try reams as well. If we're able to reel the seas, then we should be able to do okay against the Romans. Epirus looks like they're about to siege Ambracia with a fairly small force. Okay, so Epirus has Apollonia, which only has three units. And that might be their only settlement, so if I can get some mercenaries, then I can use them to attack. And I also send up some forces from Larissa. That should give us enough to deal with uh, where I was stationed here. Well, there are a lot of mercenaries available in this region. So I might want to move back in the next turn just to get them so we have a decent force for attacking Apollonia. Uh, this force only has two turns till it, till it loses the siege automatically. So I will need to attack this Roman force next turn if they don't attack us. I'd much rather they did attack us just because the our armies are much better suited to defending cities than attacking. Okay. So I want to, what I want to do here is move the general back so that I can recruit some mercenaries. Then join up with these forces, and then I'm going to use this force to take Epirus. Or Apollonia, sorry. 
which is the Emperor's capital. Okay, so now we do need to attack Rome. We literally have no choice but to attack them because Adrian will fall on the next turn. Okay, so let's jump in for this one. So with our reinforcements we do slightly outnumber them, but their troops are better than ours just because we have these really sharp lights, but uh, yeah, let's jump into this one. Look, this is a fine slightly odd looking map. Every day my Unfortunately we might be fighting on that hill. God be praised. There's our the reinforcements, reinforcements. Are here. Send them to fight. Dishearten the enemy. They have not lost any reinforcements, which is good. Unit, unit, move out. So if I just approach the Romans going up the hill, there's no way that I'm going to win this. So I think what I need to do is walk around and meet them about there. I'll just wait till our forces join up here. Do need to be careful in this battle because I have so many militia hot plates. They're not good units really. They're very low morale. Let's see if I can draw them down the hill a little bit. They didn't quite fall for that one. So, fortunately, we are still fighting up the hill. Um, they're all warmed up because they were running, unfortunately. But uh, I want to basically have a line of hot plates which should hold and then bring in the militia hot plates behind them. So if I put the militia hot plates on the front line they'll probably just break instantly and then I'll lose the fight. Going to use the skirmish and carve on the Bellatus. Actually, just send them straight into melee mode to go for them. And we get the general in behind here as well. I don't want them to be attacking. I'll take them out of melee mode and just do some more skirmishing. Going to keep moving forward with this line. Get the general close in behind. And I think I might move some of these hot light units just around the side here just to, to protect against the flank. As our cover already out of ammunition. So unfortunately his general is well hidden here. Might just move forward, see if I can get some of these abilities with the calf because they are a bit exposed. Yeah, so they're routed. Uh, 
And I do want to deal with those ballistas as well. I don't want to get involved in a fight with the infantry here. I just want to go straight for the blisters. Um, that's it, well, it's not too bad. Get our guys into the old wall here. Yeah, I don't really want to chase. Some of the car came out from routing, which is good. So I can just head towards the police there. Looks like they're kind of retreating. Send the other shot by to reinforce it. Looks like I'll need to send most of them down this way. That's where the Romans have sent most of their forces. Okay, so they've routed over here. And over this way as well. Just need to make sure my forces don't fall apart here because we do still have very low morale. He's still not sent in as general. Looks like we have them surrounded. His general's still alive though, so I do need to be wary. And uh, that's the general going in there. The enemy general is slain. Yeah, now it's the enemy general us. gone. It is time to press the attack. Attack quickly. Charge. Fortunately, our cab is a long way away, so can't chase these down too too much. I think I need to win this battle first before I start chasing down. Okay, so they have. We have won the battle, and unfortunately the Romans will get away with quite a lot of troops. But that's because we lost our cavalry, cavalry needlessly at the start of the fight. Waiting for that last unit to go. Yep, so that's a clear victory. We lost about 200 trips and we took them down from 1200 to 400. Right, so that is 
one room and forced out with. Unfortunately, there is another. So this this uh, start here is full of hot lights, so I need to take them back to Sparta to retrain. So they can make it back, so I'll send a lot of these uh, into Corinth just to make space for this force. Uh, now we can't get back. So, it's unfortunate. Yeah, just this one room and force to deal with now. Ready to sail. This is now fully retrained. So, do you want to use this to tra start transporting forces across to Italy? This force is in position. Okay. I think I will last turn. I'm just going to check if there's anything I can build. Rotation and Governor's Villa. Yep, so I passed turn that. The faction goes. Ready to sail. Right, so now I can move these forces back to Sparta. March. Well, I can move most of them back. Actually, I'm going to transport my forces first my lord. My lord. My lord. My lord. to Corinth, and then bring them in. And now I should be able to retrain them all because this will form the bulk of the forces that I take to Italy. So I'm just going to get a couple more armor top plates in there. And now I want to try and get Apollonia if I can. So no mercenaries in this area. Not in this area either. So this is a bit of a risk. I think I'll go for it anyway. Couple of rams here. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm still recruiting. Okay, so with that I shall pass turn. Uh, stylus attack at Pella. Okay, so if you are enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. I think I'm going to fight this one in the next episode. Uh, our forces are far superior to theirs, so I'm not expecting any issues here, but uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.